Inspire some more with three yes. herbs that are kind of off the beaten path. Yeah, and you told me herbs like intimidate you. They What's do. up with that? Well, I'm not the world's greatest chef, but so this is lemon thyme. How this, would we use it? This is lemon thyme. It's so citrusy. It's beautiful. So one thing I want to show you, it's a little little hack, is yeah. you've got some string here. Okay. You can tie up your thyme like this. Why? And hang it. I'll show you. Oh, like, okay. Why would you do this? Yeah. You can hang it and dry your own herbs. Oh. So question for you. Yes. Fresh herbs and dry herbs, are they interchangeable? Uh, no, but I don't know why. You're correct. Dry herbs are way stronger in flavor and should be used during cooking. Okay. While fresh herbs are a little bit softer in flavor and at the end, lemon thyme, we did it with some scallops over here. Gorgeous. Good with, with seafood. You like really it. Really good with seafood. Okay. Yeah. The next one is one I've never heard of. You've never heard of this? Chervil. What were you going to say? I was going to say chervil. <laughs> you I know, know chervil. I, I know. Do you know chervil? Good old yeah. chervil. Chervil tastes like um, kind of like anise, like that fennel, that oh. sweet, gorgeous black licorice, but soft, right? So we did it with a little mango salsa. But what I wanted to say is, how do you store your herbs so they stay longer? So you've got some here. Yes. You're going to roll it in a little paper towel. This is a wet paper towel. Yep. And you should do this right when you come home from the grocery store. Mm -hmm. You've got a little baggie over there, Savannah. Really? Yeah. So you're going to just roll it on up. Okay, like a, a very tight little roll. Yeah, well, I've made a lot of burritos <laughs> in my life. Okay. And then you just punch a couple holes in it, right? Really? And that allows it to breathe. Normally, if you just threw that in the, in the uh, fridge, it will probably last five days. But okay. this, three weeks. Watch like out this. with me in the yeah, night. Yeah, that's a very Freddy Krueger okay. situation. I know, happening. but wait, do I seal it up? Then? No, you don't have to. Oh, I just okay, have to don't. let it breathe. Okay, and that's great. It. So and you made a little salsa. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. So chervil is definitely should be on the menu. Now, this is marjoram. Marjoram. Not to be confused with margarine. Or right? my Aunt Marjorie. <laughs> Yes. So this has this really piney, gorgeous, kind of earthy flavor. Mm -hmm. It's in the oregano family. And the way you strip these, you kind of hold it upside down. You yes. hold it upside down, and you just rip them okay. right off. Nice. Oh, I see. Okay. You now, really why good. do you use dry versus wet? Like, how do you decide what goes better with what? The, you know, the, that the main. Sense. No, that totally makes sense. Yeah. If you're cooking something for a long period of time, it's yeah. usually going to be something dry. Okay. And if it's like a salad or something fresh, it's going to be something you know more fresh. This is so fun, and we get to watch our garden grow. I Isn't love it. Isn't it gorgeous? Joel, thank you so yeah, much. Thanks for having me. You can find out a lot more about cooking with fresh herbs at today.com/food. We're back. Hello, today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.